picked up, and they're coming in with a loss already to Thailand. So an 0-2 start is potentially at stake here for the Philippines for, uh, you know, again, a reminder for you, only one team will advance from the group. So I won't be handling the bo broadcast all by myself, as I mentioned. Yassin Musa is on the mic as well, 2014 world champ. He's won gold at this, uh, this thing we call the Asian Cup before as well. He comes in highly decorated and can still ball a little bit from what I hear. He can still hoop a little bit. Yeah, yeah, with, <laughs> with my kids only. <laughs> right. I play with my two boys, you know, in the home. But I retired like two years back. Yeah, a couple years back. Yeah. I think I got, I got a chance. You know, I started in 2015. So uh, definitely familiar with your, with your body of work. Um, a, a tough matchup initially for your team, especially when, when Richie Rivero was scheduled to play. But now maybe a little bit of an advantage for Qatar, seeing as though Arguably the Philippines' best player is out with an ankle injury. Oh, yeah, but I'm, I'm feeling sorry for him, but, you know. Oh, Fadi! That is, uh, he's a three point and one, four point and one, actually. But, you know, our team, we came here to compete the, the tournament, you know. Not only one game, you know, if we're here, we're here for, uh, to win the title. So we have a good team, you know. Abdurrahman Saad, Fadi, Nadim, you know, they have a, they yeah. have a great experience in the X3. Hopefully, you know, we can uh, qualify for the second round and, uh, and win the title. Yeah, Qatar will also compete at the World Cup in Amsterdam coming up in June. So they'll be represented there as well as we, as everybody's hoping to, uh, to, to make it to the Olympics in 2020. Fadi already with the two-piece, or Saad, I should say. Fadi hit the two-piece to give Qatar a 3-1 lead. Abariantos, or Absali, left him with the jab step and was able to, uh, to draw the foul. But yeah, you, you mentioned some of that experience that's starting to, uh, to, to pay off for, the, for this Qatar team. And it, it takes a while to really get a grasp of this game and the, and the nuances, and transition offense, transition defense in, in 3x3. Yeah, yeah, 3x3 actually, it's getting better, you know. It's, uh, uh, the most of uh, countries they play with uh, a, pro a 3x3 professional 3x3 players, you know. So, and back in the day, you know, when I was playing, you know, the most of the players was you know five on five players. Yeah. And the same time, you know, they was playing 3x3. But now you you can you can see, you know, the you know 90% of the countries they play with uh, with their own 3x3, you know, professional players. So, yeah. so hopefully in the future, you know. So, you know, we, we can see, you know, it's a good competition. Hopefully we can see some NBA players yeah. in 2020. How about Fadi? He came through dripping. Couple of two balls. You know, Fadi, Fadi is the only player who's uh, a professional 3x3 right now in, in our team. You know, the most of the players, the other guys, you know, other three guys, they they still play in uh, five on five. Right. Abdurrahman Saad, uh, Magasa, and Nadim, they still play five on five. That's right, yeah, Fadi, have seen him on the world tour represent Katara, finished 10th in Doha this year, as Abadientos, Big Bang Tank, Lil Bang, 6-1, Katara, oh, the spin, Muslis, Mrs. Magasa, watch him follow like a stalker. And that's one thing Magasa can bring, he's got that, strength and athleticism and look at the shoulders on that man what are y'all feeding magasa what magasa is a young <laughs> energy you know we need him in this tournament you know we need some young guys they can uh, give you energy in the off offense and defense so if you remember last year he was mvp for uh fiba 20 under 18 yeah in uh in militia does, does he does he remind you at all of Irfan? A little bit? Yeah, 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 Arfan, the young Arfan in, uh, yeah. back in the, the day, younger. yeah. <laughs> yeah. But Arfan shoot a little bit better in outside shot. Yeah. Yeah, Magasa is more power forward, you know. Oh, went up for the block. But Abariento's creative on the floater, seven to four. Philippines trailing by three. And no, no substitute. As the young phenom, 20-year-old Richie Rivero is out with an ankle injury that he suffered in that loss to Thailand to start off the day. 
Kyle Montgomery, the voice in your ear. I'm here with Yassine Musa. Who, uh, helps coach coach this uh, Qatar team. Offensive foul call. That's only foul number two on Qatar. Philippines, meantime, five fouls in the first three minutes. Not a big surprise considering the playing three on four. Not impossible. I've seen many teams do it, but it's a much tougher task. Abadientos in his bag. Step back, missed it. Nice touch at the rim. So Abadientos is going to have a lot on his shoulders in terms of scoring for this Philippines team. Saad, oh, he had it with the hezzy. Has it swiped away from, from behind. Six minutes, 47 so, seconds. And again, just Qatar, started. the more experienced again, of the two big, teams. Of and they got a little bit of it all. Wilson, Good guard Sport play Mark with Fadi inside. Sun Sports, and South obviously Washington. strong on the inside with Bobo the Magasa and the D Muslims. Using it to their advantage against the group, quicker. Filipino team. Focus. So, Rivero, even though he can't play, he's Human still, sports industry he's still coaching. Telecom. Trying to help give his guys the best, best chance to potentially win it. Top team from each group will advance to the main draw. Body will start with it. Oh. Jab step. Missed it just right. It's a good matchup between Fadi and Abarientos. They switch it though. So Fadi called for the for the foul. I think he was caught grabbing Ibonia. How much has the game changed from just a few short years that you stopped playing to now? Oh, uh, the game, the competition is still, yeah. you know, you can see the new set. When I was playing back in the day, you know, Nubisat and uh, Serbia national team, they was the top. Until now, they are still the top. So the potential, potentially, you know, the, you know, maybe the other countries they get better. You know, like uh, Latvia. Yeah. I like, you know, their club team. I mean, the teams and the national team. And uh, we see an interest start to develop in some of the smaller countries too. Yes, 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 exactly. Especially when the game come uh, one of. One of the Olympic uh, Games, 2020. Yeah. So the most countries they coming, you know, interesting in, uh, in this game. So, you know, I wish all the best for the whole countries and hopefully as a Qatar national team, we can we can qualify for the world. Uh, I mean, the 2020 Japan is very important for country because you know, as you know, you know, we are a world champion. We are world champion 2014. Yeah. And we are Asian champion, and uh, the only title we uh, we didn't win is uh, the Olympic. Yeah, I was going to say, Qatar has been dominant in 3x3, and, and I think a lot of people forget that. They get lost in the Serbian domination. But at the very beginning, Qatar was there. Oh, nice pass. Magasa, Saad. 12 6 so far. You got to be feeling pretty good about the way they're playing. Yeah, yeah, it's the fairest game always. Always the fairest game is a kind of you know they get the get they get to get the rhythm, but uh, overall you know two shots now you know six foul in Philippines they start playing physical in the first five minutes so uh, you know like Qatar they play smart you know they yeah six seven foul Philippines five minutes left so yeah got them right where you want them Philippines yeah. in the penalty so shooting free throws on any defensive foul the rest of the way yes and a six point oh, cushion put your, put your hands up like and again. Playing uh, four on three with no Rivero. No Lazarus. Flavor Maddox. Q York. Keeping it lit here outside of BBG. Shopping complex. There in as Group A, qualifying draw Group A, play continues. Oh, Magasa missed his initial shot. Magasa had one of the 
the nastiest dunks of last year. I forget where exactly that was at, but he, I just remember the announcer saying, my God, sir. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, that was uh, Asian, game, Asian Cup in uh, Malaysia, okay. U18. Yes. He, he, he really dominated that tournament. He played well. He, he, he's giving you energy every position. Yeah. Like you see, you know, he tried to steal the ball. Almost got it there, yeah. yeah. He's going to the offense class. You know, he missed the free throw. Then he followed his shot. So he's a young energy. You know, we need him in the team. His engine is always running. His condition is, is top of his game. You can tell. He puts a lot of effort, a lot of time in, into his physique. And obviously his conditioning. He looks fresh. As Qatar leads it by seven, 13 to six officially. Abadientos got the mismatch with Magasa. Mismatch down low, but Ibonia couldn't score a body. And then body trips. So he got up close and personal with Sport Court. Also, uh, don't want to forget to shout out our official timekeeper, T. So, making Swiss watches since 1853. Muslich through ball, corner, pocket, Payao. 5, 15, 6. And the Filipinos in trouble. I'm Sali, hanging, not hitting. Stays with the rebound, though. And shot clock violation. Under five minutes to play. And again, the Philippines in trouble. Seven fouls. With minor 10 fouls, put you in a double penalty. Two free throws and possession in that case. But we ain't there yet. Right now, though, a defensive foul on the Philippines to put Qatar on the line. Get some guest commentary in this one from Yassin Musa. Fadi. Fadi. Salt like Terry Cloth. Our body in toss. Cash me outside. How about that? Eight point game. Now Fadi setting up. Oh, nice ball movement. Muslitz turn around. No, off the front of the rim. Our body in toast. It's a miss. Fadi. Saad. Quick first step, takes his time. Nadine passes up the two piece. And he gets two. Potentially three the hard way. So he'll have a chance for a three-point play. Yeah, yeah. Abdurrahman, Abdurrahman said he just get back from ACL injury. Abdurrahman said he was uh, injured for the last six months. So that's why, you know, if you see the last uh, position, you know, he used to, when you get when he get beat the defense, he used to go all the way to the basket. Yeah. But, you know, you, if you see him, you know, he go back halfway and he came back. You know, he need time to, you know, to get his uh, speed back. Yeah. So sometimes when you suffer, when you suffer an injury, it's more mental than physical. So even though it may feel right, yeah, exactly. it changes the way you play. So instead of, of seeking that contact, he'll stop and maybe pull yeah, up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. As, as you see, Abdul Rahman, yeah. yeah. He was almost, you know, the defense was behind him. But, you know, he came back because he doesn't have that, you know, this, that explosion. The second step, so. But you know, as you know, uh, from 2013 to 2015, you know, me and Boni and Arfan and Bigmo, we play like uh, almost uh, 250 games together. And we, we won the World Cup, and we won the Asia, and we won the oh. Asian titles in that short period. 17, 17-9. Saad trying to set some up with Magasa. He pulls up and misses it right. Three and a half to play. So Qatar. With you know that four time. Points. You know that time when we play me, Bonnie, uh, Big Mo, the team who won the World Cup, the Qatar national team. Yeah. We, we were old. You know that three years we play. I wish I, I played this game when I was 28, 27. Oh, yeah. yeah. That and that's that's one one thing we're gonna see in the future is younger kids, kids are starting to play 3x3 at a much younger age. So by the time they get to 18, yeah. they're unbelievable. Yeah, so yeah, you know. That, that speaks to the evolution you of 3x3. You know, that's why the Serbian, those, you know, this team, you know, Serbian national team, those Busan and 
these boys, you know, they play young age. You know, they play age 28, 29. You know? Yeah. That's why, you know, they dominate the last five years. You know, nobody can beat them because uh, physically they there, you know, mentally they are there and, and, and then they are good players. But, you know, us, when we play, you know, we were already almost, you know, retired, 27, 28. Right. I mean, 20, 38, 39 years old, you know. Right. You know, Bonnie Watson is, was a great 5-on-5 five five player, but he, when he played 3x3, he was already old. Oh, nice. My but, but we play, you know, we had a great three years, you know. Well. Yeah, we had a great three years, 2013 yeah. to 2015. We almost win, we almost win, you know, all titles. I was going to say, y'all did some good work in that short amount of time. Yeah. <laughs> Game point, meantime, for Qatar as Muslitz. Oh, he could have ended it, but he it just routed out on oh, oh, nice body pass. into great feed on the inside. And Ibonia makes it 20 to 13, but only one more bucket for Qatar. Saad missed it off the glass. Abadientos, oh man. He's wetted and slip and slide. He's got the Philippines within five. What an effort from Abadientos. But again, with only a bucket to score, Magasa going to work. Waved off, shot clock violation. So under two minutes to go. Not, not a done deal yet, but game point. You don't want to fall asleep if you're Qatar, especially with Abadientos heating up. So Abadientos in his bag, pull up. Oh, that was disgusting. Oh, he just makes body. He can wash his eyes out. Body right back at you, though. What a response. 21-17. Yeah. Team Qatar. And uh, y'all see Musa, he's smiling. Yeah. <laughs> he got that yeah. dub. Hey, thanks for joining the broadcast, oh, so thanks, man. Thanks, Bratan. We need this win, you know? Yeah.